Hey, Shook fans. Well, thanks so much for your quick replies yesterday. Now I see most of the subscribers want to keep solving those kind of tactic problems, like pawn tactics. And also, some of you are interested in how to break the opponent's castles. So yeah, I'm gonna try to make those kind of videos as many as I can. But uh, let me try something else today. I want to try giving you some mate exercises. But it's not simply giving you many mate problems. I'll give you problems that have the same position on the board. And just keep changing the pieces in hand. So, look at this setup. So if you want to mate this king, what piece do you need in your hand? Well, yeah, the easiest way is to have a gold in your hand. Well, it's mate n1. Gold on the head. I know, this one is too easy. Now, how about when you have a rook and a silver? Mate this king. Right, rook drop to 5b and silver drop. Still very easy. Now, how about a rook and a bishop? This will be a bit more difficult. Well, the first move is the same. Rook to 5b and king for a and well, if you drop the bishop to here it's no mate. So this is the difference between bishop and silver. So the right way is to drop the bishop to here giving it a distance from the king. So if he tries to block it you take it and promote so it's checkmate. So he'll move the king over to 3a but promote and checkmate. This way too. Promote and checkmate. Alright now how about a rook and uh, two knights. Yes, yeah, still the first move is the same. Rook to 5b. King 4a Knight drop to 3c King 3a and checkmate. Mate in 5. Well, is it still easy? Now, how about this? Rook, knight, and a lance. This is gonna be a bit difficult. Well, it's mate in 11. Have you solved it? Right, the first move is the same. Rook to 5b. And after king 4a, which do you want to use? Knight or lance? Well, it's a knight. Knight 3c, king 3a. Well, then you have to make a good sacrifice here. Knight promote to 2a. King takes, and then lands 2c. King 3a. Knight promotes to 2b, king 4a, and promoted lands to 3b. Checkmate in 11 moves. Alright, the last example. How about a rook and two lances? Well, yeah, it's rook to 5b. King for a and yeah, lance to 4c. King will move to 3a. Well, if you drop another lance, it's no mate. So, what are you gonna do? Promoting the lance isn't good either. He's gonna escape. So the answer is rook promote to 4b, king 2a, and then lance 2c. King 1a, and checkmate. Alright, now we'll go to the next position. How about the king and the pawn or one step nearer to your side? Now, what pieces do you need in your hand? to mate this king. Well, you're right. The easiest is two goals. Yep. Mate in three. Gold on the head and gold on the head. Checkmate. Yeah, it's easy. Well, then how about a bishop, a gold, a silver, and uh, I think you'll need a lance here. 
now checkmate this king. Alright, the first move is go to 5c. If the king moves this way, it's an easy mate. Silver on the head, so he'll move to 4a. Now, what's the good move here? Well, it's bishop 1d, not 2c. It has to be 1d. And if he blocks it, it's an easy mate. Silver on the head. So he can't block it. So he moves over to 3a. Now the rest is pretty easy. Silver drop to 3b. King 2b. And bishop promotes. And. Checkmate. Alright, the next one is. Uh, uh, gold. And. Uh, Rook, gold, and lance. How about this? Well, which do you want to use first? Rook or gold? Actually, if you drop the rook first, king will go to 4b, and this is not a mate. See? So, the first move is gold to 5c and king 4a rook to 4c if he moves this way it's an earlier mate see so actually he moves to 3b and then gold moves to 4b king 2b and then lands to 2d king 1b Rook to 2c promote and checkmate. Alright, now how about two rooks? And uh, oh, you need one pawn here. Alright, go ahead and solve it. First move is rook to 5c, of course, and then king to 4a. Now, this is where you need this pawn. Pawn drop to 4b. Uh, if he takes it, it's an all your mate starting by rook drop to 5b. See? So, the king side won't take it, so he'll move over to 3b. And then rook drop to 3c. And if he moves this way, rook promote to 5a. King to 1b. Rook promotes. King 1c, dragon 5c, king 2d, dragon left 2c, king 1e, and dragon left 1b. Checkmate. It's mating 15. And uh, at this position, if he takes the pawn, rook left promotes to 4c, and rook 3a promotes, king 6b, dragon 4b backward. King 7a, dragon 7c, king 8a, dragon 8b sideways, also made in 15. Alright, final example. Rook, bishop, and uh, alright, silver. This one is pretty difficult. So the first move is rook to 5c, and gold 4a, and then Bishop to 5b. Well, if he moves over to this way, you drop the silver and bishop promote to 4c and checkmate. So actually, he'll move over to 4b. Wow. Now, bishop promote to 4c, king 3a, and then silver drop to 3b, king 2b. Horse to 3c, king 1b, horse to 2c, king 1b, and checkmate. Uh, this is mate in 13, right? And uh, at this position here, you drop the silver here, but you also have an option of promoting the rook here. Well, he can't block it, because you can just take it and silver on the head, right? 
So uh, he'll move over to 2B, drag to 2A, King 1C, and silver to 2D, King 1D, and checkmate. He can't move to here. Alright, and uh, by the way, in the first move, what if he moves to 4B? Well, in this case, silver to 3C, King 3A, and then you promote the rook. Pawn block on 4A, but you can drop the bishop to here, so it's an your mate. Alright, that's all for this lesson. See you next time.